Welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Um, welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Like I say, uh, thanks everybody for subscribing to the channel over the recent few weeks. Coming up to a thousand subscribers, very nice. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel. This is where it begins, folks, at your front door. As I said on many occasions, obviously, it's coming summer, summer comes in, in a few months time. Capital will be calling out to people who haven't paid the, the license fee or canceled the, the subscription or the um, direct debit. And they'll be coming out to uh, try and sell your license or try and catch you out, whichever way you're watching or not watching, whatever you're doing um, with the BB situation when you've stopped paying your TV license. Obviously there's two ways of going about it the legal way and the uh, obviously the other way which is just blagging them off which obviously I don't condone I'm doing the right way which is legally by doing my no license needed declaration now there's good things and bad things about that obviously that way it has to be done every two years bit of a pain but that's the way it is folks that's the only weak legal way you can do it we're telling um, BBC um, you're the person at this address. You're nothing to hide. You're not watching. You're not paying anymore, and you do not watch any live television. Once you've done that to the decoration, you'll get a confirmation letter, which I've got here beside you. You can read it here. This is a legal, well, not a legal document, but it's more or less giving you the legality that you're not watching. You told them you're not watching. You're not paying anymore. So that's one thing. Now the other way around is just by just not paying any more. It's fine, fine by me, whichever way you're doing it. Um, but obviously you're still gonna get letters coming to your address through your letterbox here. It's gonna keep coming through your letterbox every month. Letters, intimidation letters. Letters that mean really nothing. They're just like trying to scare you, saying you're gonna get fined and you're gonna be a, a criminal, all the rest of it. It's all harassment and making you fear so they can commit to pay and of course they will send somebody around eventually maybe two months it could be six months it could be a year it could be wherever capita are targeting an area where there's a, an increase in non-payment that's what they do folks they did target an area they don't just come to every household they target certain areas like Lancashire Cheshire up north Yorkshire down south Cambridgeshire Oxfordshire you know any any area they target an area and they send out a party of people represent TV licensing to sell you to sell you a license or try and catch you out and that's what it's about now obviously I don't want to see anybody become one of the 50,000 people each year or approximately get fined by the BBC or to Capita who represent them um, fine at your doorstep because the only way you're going to get fined is you tell them something at your doorstep now if you just do as I say here at your door which is the battleground ground with them they come knocking on your door if you've got a camera bell even better just say no thank you very much and shut your door just, just, just leave it at that if you have to open the door which is your right to do you're not a prisoner in your own property if you open this Yes, folks, it's important if you're liking the video to give us a thumbs up, a like, share with other people, pass, pass the message on. You're quite welcome to do that. The more people that, who, um, you know, ring up and cancel the license, get the two-year two -year, um, exemption, like Inspector C, that's all I'm here for. And, of course, you know, that's what it's about. And subscribe to the channel helps my channel grow. And, of course, I thank you for that. And uh, that's very nice of you to... And the door to them get to know who they are they'll give you some idea and worst of it you say well i don't require a license this address i'm license free and you don't need a license and uh, if you've gone and done the declaration like i've done then of course you just show them the paperwork say look there's no license needed here goodbye and you shut your door that's all you've got to do you don't sign any scanners you don't sign any paperwork you don't agree to any contract with them whatsoever 
they're just salesmen at your door. Once you've re realised this, you'll have nothing to fear, and I don't want to see anybody from this, this year or any, any years in the future by giving them information. If you give them information, they can do what they want with it and they can twist it around and say that you're watching TV, they caught you out and all the rest of it and give you a court action and stuff like this. They're not angels, these people. They're out to get a conviction and get profit by the mem more people they get to, 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 to buy a licence, more money for them. That's all it is. They're on a commission basis and that's how they work it. Now, if you know your rights, you stand up for your rights, you say, no, thank you very much, shut the door, be polite to them, don't antagonise them, because they're trained at the doorstep, they have a two-week course to go through, and they know the rules that they have to abide by. Some do and some don't. But anyway, as long as you know the rules, it'd be fine. I don't want to see anybody get fined at all. The only way they're going to get fined is you tell them something that they need to know. They don't need to know nothing about you personally or whatever. You're just a householder, like this address here, this gentleman's house. He's 85 years old and he doesn't want anybody harassing him. And I've told him what to do. So that's what it is, folks. you just got to stand your ground, just say nothing, just say goodbye. No license require, required at this household, at this address. I do not watch live television. I do not watch BBC programmes. End of. And that's what it's all about, folks. Anyway... Thanks again to all the new people that have subscribed to my channel. Like I say, I'm coming up to 1,000 subscribers. Thanks, everybody, for supporting me. And like I say, share and pass on to everybody else because, like I say, I do not wish to see anybody else get a £1,000 fine or £200 fine or whatever in a court. It's known in this day and age. <coughs> it should not happen anymore in this day and age. This is your doorstep, your property. You say goodbye and that is the end of it. Do not engage with them whatsoever. Like I say, thanks again, folks. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. But anyway, folks, thanks again for everybody who's, who's left some comments and um, subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. It is, means a lot because I say that I um, hopefully I can help people. And that's what it's all about. Somebody who can save themselves £180 a year, something like that, what's going to be £170, something like that, what's going to be when it goes up in April. It may go up a bit more, you just don't know yet in the budget. You just never know what's going to go. Helping an old man out, like myself, which I'm getting old now. And, uh, of course, getting my crunchy nut. Don't forget that, my crunchy nut. Anyway, folks, I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. And thanks again.